Hello, hello. Good evening, good time zone. Welcome on in. We're back. We're back for more demos. Why why since Monday did my webcam settings revert? I can as soon as I bring it up there I can see it. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Turn that off. Pull that up. That's better. That's what it's supposed to be. Perfect. Hello, hello. Hey, Banjo. Hey, Mango. Good to see you. I hope you've had a good couple of days since I saw you last. Uh, I mean, we're we're gonna we're just gonna we're not gonna waste any time here. We're gonna get right into it. Uh, what's the first game gonna be? Let's try. Okay. <laughs> I am excited to try out more games. Has anyone found any any gems in the last couple of days? Oh, this one we're about to try. Zaw gave a few minutes too. Zaw's a lot better at playing things quickly than I am. <laughs> I'd love if I could manage to do an average of five minutes per game to try them out. But I get drawn into everything. Dalek Entertainment. New cycle. I haven't found anything new yet. I think you played everything you desire to play. Nice. That's good to get through everything early. Uh, let's master it down just a smidge. New game. Oh, after the Steam Base Builder Fest, we were excited to be able to meet you once. Steam had a Base Builder Fest that I missed. I know about the Sports Fest. I didn't know there was a specific Base Builder Fest. Oh, I would have loved that. Oh well. Demo, which is being published as part of Steam Next Fest. We'll be very eager to bring in the full gameplay experience to players as possible. We'd like to remind you that the present demo is but edition limited. Sure. Not be able to access structures and raw materials, you need to cure sick people and to get them back on their feet. Since letting them die without being able to intervene is not a viable option for the flow of the game. Grief the individuals will continue their work as though they were healthy. However, deaths may still occur. Uh, exploration terms and trade being directly related to the narrative are not just are not included in this demo. Okay, so there's a bunch of extra systems that aren't aren't in the the version. Uh, put your bed for sale today. One person responded, and you did not hear anything from them, so somebody else wondered if it was free, and you, of course, said yes. Fine from the first person, now you feel horrible that it's sold? Well, I mean, if they didn't get back to you, they didn't get back to you, right? It's That's the nature of a first-come, first-serve listing site. Uh, a million new things in your wish list? Nice. Sandbox campaign sanity? The scenario... As the leader of an advanced settlement, revolves around sudden appearance of mysterious disease that causes large convulsions of fabric humans. Recommend for newbies, no achievements, achievements active, sandbox. Peaceful mode where outside threats or drastic changes to environment condition, or without outside threats or drastic changes to environmental conditions. 
All the components of city building and survival are active, but endgame challenges are absent. I mean, I don't know. We only have meadow at the beginning. Okay, but so it's a city builder, we've got multiple map types. Nice to get sold, one less thing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get my tea poured here while this loads. Hopefully it loads. <sighs> All kinds of permanent or temporary positive or negative inputs affecting our city here. Refreshment, okay. We can name the camp, that's cool. New era progression. Guaranteeing the continued success of our community might be possible sustainable development model. Extend in a controlled manner, utilize resources logically and efficiently, and acquire capabilities that make our life easier. Technology, prepare us for times of crisis. Access the new era intervals. Click here to preview next era. Okay. Right, so there's a bunch of stuff. Progression. Okay, here we go. Welcome to New Cycle Message from the Community. Uh, you are now the governor of this little community. It's been nearly half a century since the first solar flare. In the initial moments of the catastrophe, we lost our entire technological infrastructure, our means of global sourcing, and almost everything that we can share as a civilization. The following years were humanity's darkest, having to wrestle with constant impossibility and despair. From battles fought with sticks and stones to nuclear wars, we ended up destroying ourselves with little the sun had left. Destroying ourselves what little the sun had left for us. And civilization fell. Everyone here was born to this new world, and you have to be their leader. Our current flimsy shelter can't carry us far. We must rebuild everything from scratch with the efforts of those who remain to so establish a sustainable way of life. We need to rediscover our lost knowledge and explore our surroundings to create new possibilities. More, most importantly, beyond really surviving, we have to find a way of securing our next generation by whose time the world may not be inhabitable, be habitable anymore. We don't know how we can preserve life as we know it, but at least we can help build something that may we may call home. Start with the tutorial, continue on your own. Um, sure. Like is enough knowledge to build simple shacks, etc. Task, build a field camp, gather logs, gather stones. Okay. But I just, I already looked at this. Oh, that's just, just what happens when I click on the camp. Okay, well, so how do I... Camp, 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 resources. Grid system or the free system can be used to place building on the map. Uh, switch between these two systems by pressing the tab key for the grid system. The R key performs its rotation. Season the CUNY keys lay to spin continuously different directions. Okay. That's... Okay. We need a field camp. What does the field camp do, though? Optimizes... Organized workers to collect iron and stone and log efficiently to meet the increasing need for new raw materials. Okay, so... Where do we have access to any of these things? That's a stone deposit, okay. There's trees here. Do we have an iron deposit anywhere so that we can... Uh... That's another stone deposit. Oh, oh, okay. We lost some frames there as I was... What's this? 
ruin. Fascinating. Okay, well, we'll just build our field camp. Uh... Okay, that's an iron deposit right there. Okay, so if I field camp right here, we can get that stone and all these trees and then that iron as well. Okay, so how do I build it? Under construction, 0%. Understood. Is it... It's still not constructing. Uh, how does one make it construct? Speeding up doesn't do anything. Do I have workers I need to assign? How do I... Not demolish. Where do I... How do I make things build? Require population 70. So I have 35 people. How do I make them... Did I build my thing too far away? Is that what happened? On research, so I can't build a road out to it. How do I make it? Hmm. I don't understand why I can't get that to construct. Technology tree, that's fine. Got 35 people. Worker, craftsman, specialist. Not sure how I get that to build. Like time is passing, correct? Yeah, we're at day two. Got workers. Oh, oh, I can play with some sliders. Thirty-five unoccupied. Okay, how do I make them occupied? Oh, there it goes. I don't know. Mess with that slider bar did something. I don't know why. When I fiddled with this, they started to to work. Okay. Gathering camp well, lumber mill, soup kitchen, forge smith. Okay, I mean, this is cool. And I only just figured out how to actually do stuff, but like, while it's cool, I also feel like we don't necessarily need to play it for all that long to understand what it has to offer. This, okay, this got finished. Change game speed, yes, I know that. Okay, so now here's how I could add people to do these things. Okay. And they'll go gather those various supplies. There's some people. Where are you going? Other than where you're supposed to go, I assume. Oh, yeah, there's some stone. They got some stone in. Okay. 
Any other good buildings I can build? Not with the amount of stuff I have right now. I mean, from from what I've seen already, I can tell I'd probably or I will probably enjoy this quite a bit. But I think I think, unfortunately, a lot of things that would like set it apart or the stuff that the, the things they were mentioning weren't in the demo yet. Like it sounded like the the campaign would have like lots of cool like story progression and diplomacy options that would like change how your playthrough goes and like that all sounds really neat for a game like this. So I'm I'll be keeping an eye on news cycle, but I think we will move fairly quickly on to our next game. I want to get through as much as we can. Uh, looking at Steam Banjo, it doesn't say that you've played New Cycle, but Steam doesn't necessarily know what it's talking about. You probably have if it seems familiar. Is this next game launching? I think half the time I spend trying to get through demos is just getting stuff to launch or not launch. <laughs> That's okay. It's still fun. Oh, made in Unity. Who would have suspected? Uh, yeah, English is good for me. Thank you. Welcome to the demo version of Legendary Hoplite, a sneak peek into the thrilling world of the full game. Join Dio on a heroic quest through seven challenging areas of Greek mythology. Uh, culminating in a showdown with the legendary warrior Ajax. We emerge victorious and claim your place among the great heroes. Get ready for an epic adventure in Legendary Hoplite. Is this... What kind of game is this? Keyboard setting left ASD. I feel like this would be good on controller. I'm going to see if it works. Hey, Bubba. I tell three more demos today. Nice. Sea of Stars, Mind Over Magic, and Little Kitty Big City. Yeah. Nice. I played Sea of Stars a while back. They've had their demo out. Uh, or they've had a demo out. Maybe more advanced now than it was before, but... Uh, I played it a few months ago, I think. And I enjoyed it, it was fun. Mind Over Magic and Little Kitty Big City were really good. Ah, I don't recall if those, either of those are ones that I grabbed, I'll have to see. At some point. Mm, yeah, the direct was good. Oh, okay. So the controller can control the mouse like this. That makes me think it doesn't have good keyboard support. Or, sorry, controller support. We'll see when we get in here. But it didn't it did instill a rage in you more deep and guttural than any other in recent memory? Oh, gosh. I can't say... I relate, because I've never had a reaction to a game reveal showcase that was anywhere as close to Rage. 
Seemed for about a second they were announcing a port remake of a thousand year door, then revealed a new peach game, and you nearly screamed. Oh yes, I was yes, I recall that moment. I've never played Thousand Year Door, so I didn't even think to consider that possibility when that trailer was starting. Is this is this frozen? It is, isn't it? That's okay. It'll come back. Oh, okay. Um, I'm trying to fiddle with the controller and it's making me skip dialogue. Uh, a stranger approaching with a weapon in hand. Blow the horn, prepare for battle. Okay, yeah, so how does this game work? Enemies attacking waves. S holds. Okay. Okay, so I'm like defending and it's kind of like Space Invaders, but like a hoplite-esque shenanigans. Can I pause it? Currents of the exact same style, thousand year door, main menu, and the music even sounded somewhere. Oh, okay. Hey, love, good to see you. Can you, can you hear? Are you, I know you're at work. Oh yeah, no, I, w I was in their stream too. I, w I was there for that. That showcase when Snacky was streaming. Extremely upset, then shot right back down to being very, or extremely heavy, then shot back to very upset. Oh, I'm sorry that you ended up feeling upset about it. Are there going to be like power ups in this to like? get stronger and do things other than just chuck spears or maybe maybe not more armies are closing in we need more men phalanx to arms captain we're ready press one to select a troop uh click to deploy oh and then they'll just march up there Oh, interesting. Oh, I might have botched this. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Okay, whew. Uh, okay, so the phalanxes are holding strong. I like positioned that one well. Uh, they are for this is really amazing. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Can I throw through my squad? Doesn't seem like it. It's like Plants vs. Zombies with one person. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually very much Plants vs. Zombies. I like it to Space Invaders, but Plants vs. Zombies is probably an even better uh, comparison. Uh, okay, this one looks quite like there's quite a lot going there. How am I supposed to? Break through at the gates at this rate. We should ring a bell to call reinforcements from the other camps. Only person of the gods can help us through this tribulation of Supreme Zeus beseech you to save us. I hmm. uh, assume they didn't make chocolate an option for the Splatfest because they knew it would be the only one to get votes. I mean, I wouldn't vote for chocolate, but that doesn't mean that majority wouldn't. Uh, young Captain, you do not believe in the gods, do you? Who are you? I'm Gaia, mother of all things. Zeus, the god who you prayed to, is only one of my descendants. By the grace of Gaia. Do you tell me more about those things that are invading us? These skeleton soldiers come from the underworld, the land of Hades. They attacked Ithaca for a purpose. It's not just an invasion. The attacks will continue and become more and more dangerous each time. It will spread throughout the world of Ithaca, or the whole of Ithaca. These are just scouting soldiers. Why are you helping us? Oh. I love every living thing on this earth, all equally. I would not get involved in any matter if it followed the laws of nature. These skeleton soldiers don't belong in this world. They broke the laws. So you can help us get through this tribulation. 
These beings are from the underworld, Hades citizens, so I will not interfere, but I can bestow upon you enchanted weapons to fight this calamity. There are many more waves of monsters coming for Ithaca soon. The illusion of Gaia? <laughs> I've never wielded an enchanted weapon before, so I don't even know what it is. And I shall teach you. I'm gonna take the spear as a gift from the Ooh. earth. My goddess, thank you for everything. Uh, atrocious pilum of admiration. In teens, it's a little hard to hear. What is this game? It is Legendary Hoplite, is what it's called. Uh, okay, back to town. So this is oh, how, we, how we equip stuff. Here has four types of equipment. Sure. Drag item onto here. Gotcha, I understand. So this is better, okay. Oh wow, the map seems quite, these are all levels and then each region would have that an amount of levels. Oh, I hit back too many times. Oh no, okay, wait, when did it save? Okay, it saved the last time I did something. Can't click on the other regions, that's okay. Don't thank you, love you. Yeah, no problem. I love you. Uh, we'll do one more. Better hurry and prepare for the next enemy assault. Let's try it. Let's do one more battle. Oh, unless it stops responding again. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, we're back, okay. Oh yeah, definitely Q to cast spear skill. Oh, that's useful. How have the other demos been? Uh, this is only the second one we've tried. The first one was a, a city builder called New Cycle that seemed cool, but also kind of standard. Like it was, it was a city builder. Not now. Nice. His actions consume stamina. Hero needs to stand still for four seconds to start recovering stamina faster. Oh, I understand. Interesting. Them? Oh, I can. Good. Phalanx there. Okay. Get down. It's based to call the next wave. The sooner you call the next wave, the more combat points you will earn. Please consider the above because the hero will not have time to cover stamina. Did it just make me call the next wave? These dogs are concerning. I am not ready. Oh, I don't have Q available yet. I say I am not ready. Get down. Space to call the hard wave. I'll try. Let's 
seem that hard. Oh, there's more coming. Okay. I was like, this is not that big a deal. GG. Got a bunch of stuff. Got a new troop. Got new coins. Upgrade points. Back to town. Uh, point upgrade hero by winning a level. Are you here to your preference? Reset hero upgrades without losing anything. Swiftness of the hero, every point actually increases attack speed, critical chance evasion, and block chance. Strength is damage. Endurance with the stamina. Leadership. Combat points, combat point gain, and starting combat points. Oh, that's interesting. What's our new troop? Barrel thrower. Oh, like burning barrels. Well, that's cool. Okay, I think we've got a, a solid handle on what this is, what this has going on. This is fun. I'm quite into this. Exit. Uh, yes, 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 I know. Where are we next then here? Number 14. 10 or 510. Oh, this one. Yes, 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 yes. Next. Thank you for the next. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's loud. That's really loud. I apologize. Options. Audio. Ridiculous. Why do people start their audio at 100%? back to here so gotcho in the grassland that was we'll never learn when it comes to letting people choose audio at the start right yet yeah, even the even the ones I praise it's because they just set the audio at 50% uh, like off the hop, but almost nobody just like first thing gives you the settings. I feel like more games should just like the very first thing that pops up is just the settings menu. It's just like, oh my god, do we have this many customization options? Oh wow. A couple of hats, a few different faces, or maybe this big handlebar one for sure. Orange. Oh yeah, black. Is this the game where everyone speaks Japanese? Or is that uh, another game? I'm not sure. I don't, off the top of my head, I don't associate this with anything Japanese, but that doesn't mean that I know what I'm talking about. That doesn't sound like Japanese to me. Uh, oh my gosh, she's cute. Yeah, she is. 
They're all quite great. Or they're both quite great. Oh, we've got some options for tones here. Very nice. What's this? You can customize your horse? Just a few different colors, but you can customize your horse. That's cool. And there's a few different dogs to choose from. Amazing. this child riding this glowing horse. Welcome to the grasslands. Looks like the curse blocked every memory you had of this place. Explore, collect resources, craft tools, breed cattle, and build your new farm. You can also deal with the curse on the horizon. I'll help you at the right time. Living here, you'll break the curses and one day restore all your memories. Okay. If you're not here, no need to rest, just relax and enjoy. Don't forget this is a demo version. If you have any issues or suggestions, please use the bug report feature. Don't forget to save and have fun. Okay. To move faster, hold shift. My controller turned off. I'm not gonna bother resyncing it right now. The mouse and keyboard's working fine. Uh okay, wait, so how do I Aha! Oh, is that my ranch over there? What are these glowing orbs of light? Oh, new ranch land. To build your ranch, you need to trade resources for new land. Interact with the sign to call the land seller and see the cost. Build mode, okay. Uh... <laughs> Trace farmer knows you have to build the barn they need. Build some fences to keep them close by and safe. Okay. I feel like I've... Uh... That's not a barn over there, is it? No. Capture big animals. Okay, well, I've caught this bull, but now I don't have anywhere to put it because I'm getting ahead of myself. Build mode B. Yeah, I don't have nearly enough stuff to build a cattle barn. Building recipes, I understand. Building area, I understand. Okay, I'll just release that. And the bull will take off. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> have a nice day. Okay, well, let's dismount from our horse. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, the shepherd boy. You'll find trade centers like this here and there. Guide the cattle here using your horse to trade for resources. No wild bulls. Oh, okay. Call yourself Ted Lasso with a lasso. <laughs> I've heard good things about that show. I've never seen any of it myself. Oh, here's cattle. So I can, I can, I can lasso this cattle, and then I can. How do I aim? I got the bull first try. Now I can't figure out how to catch these cows. Can I not catch? Can I not lasso a cow? Am I doing it wrong? This would be build mode. So this is where I can build stuff. There's another wild bull over there. What is this? Something broken down that I can r repair at some point? Is your bed of your room now you're dead? Oh, take it easy, Mango. Don't, don't push yourself too, too hard. 
Uh, okay, how do I get resources then? To build a barn if I wanted to do so. Oh, I could cut this. If I had an axe, is that what it's telling me? I don't have an axe. Where do I procure an axe? Or is this just a warm hug and positive masculinity? Nice. This is how we trade cows for resources. Do I have a map or anything that tells me like where I am? Quests, build house modules, build unique decorations, breed cattle. Stuff over there looks quite, uh, quite dangerous. Call your horse with R. I mean, do I, okay. Do I need my horse? Just need some pictures of it and I will rest. Nice. Yes, I, kn I know how to charge the lasso game. What I need to know how to, is to how to get resources. Where do I get... Oh, my forgotten recipe. To make this, I require... Oh, no, that requires an axe and a bunch of other stuff to make it. All I have is furs and a rawhide and candle in my inventory currently. Okay, so the dog will dig stuff up for us. That's nice. Yeah, okay, so if I had an axe, I could chop those logs, but... Where do I get... Oh, was I sort of supposed to go this way? What's over there? No, that's, that's a light. Something ominous. Here's another spot I could build. Any place to build your farm in this riverbank? Check the required resources at the cellar and get creative. Crafting screen. Okay. Collect a bunch of sticks then. Okay, so I need some metal, I need some of that, and I need some of that, and I can make an axe. So everything has to be crafted from scratch. I just gotta find the right stuff. Okay, that's some of what I needed. I need... Okay. To me, horse friend. Okay, more stuff that we get. Oh, here we go. Where do I get those? What is that? Looks like boards, but it's not a board, I don't think. I guess we keep, just keep cruising around looking for stuff. Craft items with tab. I don't have anything I can craft yet. Feed the creature inside the labyrinth, you need patience. You also need a special item, don't let it get you before you're done. Oh, there's something in there that I gotta defeat? Concerning. 
to that. Totem's built. Wait, what's happening? No, I don't, I don't want to activate an event or anything like that. No, thank you. Let's head back out this way. Things are nice. Let's see if we can figure out where to get the items we need to craft. It's not these. These are just sticks. We've got oh, we've got lots of sticks. Click and hold. I'm sure, what is this? Grass rope. Is there anything else that I have enough stuff that I can make? I can make whatever this is. Metal straw. Make leather. Clay tile. Interesting. Oh, now we have the straw, which would let us make that. Okay. I still don't. I still don't have any of that, though. Thank you, friend. My dog's dope. Finding all sorts of cool stuff. I have no idea where to get those boards, though. Dog is the best part? Yes, absolutely, so far. Um, what do I... my horse that I called. Charge the lasso, hold. Didn't work. Yeah, we can't lasso the cows. I'm pretty confident. At the moment. I would have liked to get to the point where we could make a building, but it doesn't seem to be in the cards because I can't figure out how to get... Oh, we can make a campfire. Okay. Fantastic. We managed to construct one thing. One thing that is totally... A building. Oh, we can turn it on and off. Nice. I mean, this is really cool. I just wish I could find these boards so I could, like, open up the, the tree. But maybe I have to go somewhere as I haven't been yet or explore more around than I have been. Oh, wait, what's this? With just a little more grass rope, I could... Make this. Oh, there's a stone axe. Oh, okay. So now that I have a stone axe, could I chop a tree? I was I was trying to make the wrong kind of axe. 
Now I have this stone axe, and now I can... Wait, how do I... Oh, I need the better axe for trees. Oh, okay, but the stone axe can chop the logs on the ground that we saw, right? Is that what I'm to assume? Stone axe can chop these. Okay, that gives me round logs. Okay. With round logs, I can make boards. So now I can make this axe. Okay. We figured it out. It took some time, but I I unlocked the tree. Now we still don't have enough to build any buildings. We need a lot more for that, but Ooh, we can make a fence. We can move our fence. Nice. Okay. This is dope. Um, session quit. We'll move on to the next demo. Hey, Asher, welcome in. Wish this demo had been a little further along, but oh my god, a tool belt. Yeah, I mean, the stuff, everything I needed was there. I just had to figure out what was going on. And maybe there were more of those like little spots where you could talk to the uh, the glowing horse child to uh, to get more information than I was getting. That was fun though. I think that has a lot of potential to be like a fun, a fun just like crafting and and building game. Didn't seem to be any sort of like time restrictions whatsoever. Wasn't like a day night cycle. Wasn't like anything like that going on, which is cool. Um, I do like not having to worry about time and stuff. So we got 36. Uh, probably easier to go count backwards for that one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Oh, yeah, this one. Might be interesting. I mean, they all look interesting. Where are we at here? Are we loading? Are we launching? Making progress, maybe? Maybe not? <laughs> here we go. The speech recognition? I didn't realize it was going to have speech recognition. It's still in development there for make Asian miss your words. Additionally, the final game will contain loads more content, including verbs, language lessons, and loads more mini games. If you like the demo, please remember wishlist and come join us on Discord. Uh, settings. Volume strikes me as being okay right now. Would this be better in controller? Because it's not. How do I. I don't know how to get over to gameplay. Maybe there are no gameplay settings at the moment. I also don't know how to get out of this menu. How do I go back over to the game? What? What is happening? Fine, I'll try 
syncing my controller and we'll see if that helps. <laughs> Looks kind of nice. Uh, so, how did y'all feel about the direct this morning? It was good. It was a solid, solid direct. Lots of cool stuff. Stop connecting? What's going on here? Okay, there we go. I, I honestly cannot figure out the controls for this menu. Controller is recognized, but it's not doing anything different than any of the rest of it. Oh, we had to hit B to get out of there? What? Okay, whatever. New game. Uh, use the thumbstick to move. Okay, so it is designed for controller. Seeing some RPG, Star Ocean 2, and Dragon Quest stem make returns makes you so happy. You do enjoy so much of your child and your adult now, and you're, you're hurt. Nice. Yeah, those were those were probably some of the things I was most excited about too. Walk to the marker to continue. Okay. Now, time you can learn one or more languages. You can choose your active language here. Uh, Japanese. Since I'm studying it anyway. Press A to grab highlighted object. Press B to see object info. Wine. This is the object information screen. Here you can see language and progress details about an object you're interacting with. Uh, the perks with everyone moving out is that you can just live in the living room and being able to sell the bed before moving. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Press Y to hear the name of the object. Wine. Wine. Press X and say the name of the object. Wine. Wine. Uh oh, that wasn't recognized. They did say their speech recognition might uh might not work very well. Wine. Great. Coloring objects using speech recognition is at the heart of now town. Press A to continue. Press A to drop object. Okay. <laughs> Those are the basics now. Open. Uh, I'm go for a bit. Need to figure some stuff out. I love you. I love you too. I hope your stuff goes well. Those are the basics now. Open the menu to access the map, then teleport to the house to begin learning. Okay. Oh, airship. Okay, house, let's go to the house. Learning nouns. By default, new rooms are empty plus uncolored. Unpack some boxes to turn their objects into color using speech recognition. Oh, interesting. I understand. There's a noun box that contains objects to learn the vocabulary for and to decorate the room with. You can open five boxes in a row before needing to test your learning on the learning kiosk. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I need to grab the highlight object. I don't see a highlight object. Oh. Oh, the tatami mat. Tatami. Nothing heard. Please try again. Tatami. Tatami. 
Create now open four more boxes of nouns and learn those words too. It's on the floor there. Oh, Fukin. I didn't know this one. Fukin. Actually, it wouldn't be can it be keen? Fukin. We heard Chokinda? That's not what I said. Fukin. Nice. What else we got? Kiandaru. Got that one first try. Fan. 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 <laughs> Don't know about that. I pronounced it what I would consider to be more Western and it worked, but that's fine. Is that, that was, that was five, right? Why is my nouns at zero to 28? Haven't I gotten some? Yeah, but I already, I already got this one, didn't I? Do I need to do more, I guess? What is this kiosk? Can't interact with the kiosk, yes, okay. What do we drop in the book here? Oh. Bukukaba. Oh, yeah. Walk to the marker to continue. Uh, this seems like a really fun way to learn languages. It's a neat concept, yeah, to just like ha have you wander around an environment and just learn all the words for everything in there. Learning five down boxes, you have to upload your learning to the learning kiosk. So this means a testing process. Are you ready? I'll try. Sure. And test me on the ones I've learned, obviously. Five words you've just learned. Select start test to start. Uh, okay. Do speech recognition and say the name of the object. You get three chances each. Oh, so I have to remember it. I wasn't paying attention. We'll see. Tatami. Tatami. Fukin. Fukin. Kyandaru. Fan. Buku Kaba. We're on a roll. Crushing it. Where'd you go right will now stay in the scene forever. Where'd you go around will need learning again later. But I, I got them all right, eventually. Did you notice the color radius increased from the kiosk based on how much you learned? When the color touches some objects, they become available for interaction and unlock new mini games. New mini game has been unlocked, it's learning rush. What? Now in town has various mini games and game modes. This one is learning rush plus A to try it. That's cool. How to. Islanders will say an item they want. Press the button corresponding to that item. Get a high score before the time runs out. Okay, well, I'll try. I can't move. Do I use the mouse? Do I... Oh, I gotta press the button. Uh, tatami is A. Fukin. Fukin, that's okay, that's on B. Tatami. Tatami's on B. Yeah. Book cover's on A. Fukin. Fukin is on B. Candor is on Y. Fun. Uh, that's X. Tatami. A. Book cover. 
be candle X book cover X candle X booking uh booking no go around Y Katami B candle Y book cover New high score thirty one hundred okay interesting the the kind of like stuttery zoom in as the time starts to run out run out is a little uh disconcerting I, i'm not a huge fan of time limits in general but that's cool though and we got this whole radius here who are you cassian there's also people to talk to What? <laughs> Masa Nicaraguardo. Something about colored world, coloring the world, Tekita. Masani Karawado. Odo Tekita. Color World, it's coming back. Ah, it's coming back. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Chat. And they just chat in the language that you chose. That's cool. Uh, how do I exit out of that conversation? Okay. This is a really neat concept. This is kind of dope. Like this method of trying to like teach people stuff and learn stuff. It's a little intimidating to go, like I would think to be going directly from like just learning individual nouns to then like having a conversation with this person in the language. Like that's, that seems like a huge step up, but it's cool nonetheless. Let's move on and see what else we can find. Uh, next up, we got number forty seven. Uh, also, wait one second here. I'm going to just briefly switch to the screen. I'm not actually going anywhere. Uh, it's quite warm in here. So I am changing into cooler shorts instead of these pants. Okay. Back at it. Now, what did I roll? I rolled number 47. Okay. So that means, let's see. Five, 10. Oh, this one. Someone was mentioning this on Monday. Banjo, I want to say, maybe. I was mentioning this next one. Looks fun. I'm on the heat, been dealing with heat indexes in excess of 48 Celsius down there in some places. Oh gosh, Asher, stay safe. That's that's real rough. I mean, that's that's getting well into dangerous territory. Uh, Spirit swap, low five beats to match three two. 
There you go. That's the title. Story demo versus demo settings. The audio sounds reasonable already. Max? No. Never be on max. Nothing should ever be on max audio. Unless you personally need it on max audio. But let's do the story demo. Tutorial at Leon's Tattoo Shop. You find Leon poring over a drawing while his radio plays in the background, and Hazel, his bat familiars, sleeps next to it. You're not sure that they even notice you walking in. I am keeping yourself inside and well hydrated and only go outside when absolutely necessary. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Stay safe, Asher. You're melting with 26. I mean, 26 is fairly... Actually, I shouldn't say that as if I know the answer, if that's true or not. Is 26 fairly warm for your area, though, Mango? Not like breaking the charts or anything, but I think that's that's warmish, right? I'm not sure that they even noticed you walking in. What you working on? I like the character art a lot, and well, the background art too. All of the art. This thing, this game has a really nice aesthetic. They scramble to cover up the sketchbook, but you can see the vague outline of a wing peeking up from behind his arm. Nothing. All right, now you have to let me see it. Is it a new tattoo design? It's nothing, it's just a, a sketch. Some finite ink striking paper. Yeah, that is warm. We had 30 today and stayed inside. Don't do well with heat, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... What you're used to matters a lot, right? Like... Like I'll go like I'll go outside when it's like if it's above ten, like I'm willing to wear like shorts outside, basically. And for some people that's like unheard of. Ten being uh fifty Fahrenheit. So if it's, if it's above fifty Fahrenheit, I'm like, yeah, easy. Easy, easy, easy. For like shorts and, and t shirt. Can do shorts in the 50s? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, but even as a native Texan, this heat is outrageous. It's never this hot this early. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, quite early in the year, right? Just mid, well, getting into late June now. But that's. Hopefully that doesn't continue and, like, your actual hottest months are even hotter. Hopefully this just ends up being an anomaly and it's the hottest part of the year for you. The answer on the radio's voice startles him out of an oncoming art ramble. I don't, I'm only half paying attention to what's going on in this game. We should have clear skies for the rest of the week. Good thing, too, with the Five Hag Vision concert this weekend. Our next song is 545, their new single that will be performed live. The song starts and then quickly changes the station, looking embarrassed and leaving the drawing wide open. It's a half inked picture of a phoenix. It's beautifully drawn with Leon's trademark line work and bold sketches. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Let me guess. It was inspired by that one member of... Uh, is this supposed to be Shag Vision? And they're just using the 5 as an S? I'm going to assume it is. Shag Vision. Citrine, right? The Rocking Phoenix? Or is there another Rocking Phoenix making a tour stop in Damask soon? Perhaps it is Citrine inspired. Take some of the papers on the table and fans them out. Displaying a wide variety of small designs, each clean spider with one of the Shag Vision 5. <laughs> For my love, some of the nature's ears can't deal with this all summer long. I hope you don't have to. Uh, we've had some pretty cool summers here, so this heat is a lot for you at least. I don't think your body can handle it. Our capital have had like 30 almost every day, and this is usually not the time for that kind of heat. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So far, we're fairly seasonably appropriate. Like, I was talking about it being hot in this room in particular, but, like, today wasn't bad. Uh, we haven't had any, like, bad days yet, which is good. But we'll see. We'll see how the summer goes. Uh, significantly more Phoenix designs. 
figured I might create some new flash designs for the concert coming up. It's the first time Shag Vision will be in Dimash, after all. Is there the elaborate phoenix he was pouring over when you walked in? Hmm. Isn't this one a little too complex for a flash design? You could use it as a poster for our concert watch party. It'd be perfect. I guess so. I kind of wanted to gift it to Citrine, though. Wait, you got tickets? How? The venue's been sold out for months. He looks to the side, embarrassed. I don't, yet, but... Uh -huh. He leans forward eagerly. I hear there's some extra secret VIP backstage passes available that allow you to meet the band. Sounds like a scam. <laughs> I'd, I'd do anything to meet the train. Their brooding nature perfectly contrasts their bright phoenix attire. Did you know they designed their guitar on their own, and they co-wrote the lyrics for their biggest hit, and that they've collaborated on makeup with Barrel? Cut them off before they can regale you with the full encyclopedia of Citrine facts. Based on sunset they've seen, yeah, you might have told me that once or twice. Leon blushes bright red. <laughs> I guess I did. Dude, I bet we could find one of those VIP. Here's the bat, lets out a loud bat squeak, stopping you both in your tracks. Look up to see a spirit block manifest out of thin air on the perch near the radio. What? What's a spirit block? Another spirit appears, and another spirit pops in soon after it. Then another, another, and another. Spirits? How did they get in here? We're within the city barrier. More spirits appear, scattering pages of the sketches all over the floor. Ah, my oeuvre. <laughs> Don't worry, we got this. Let's make it interesting and swap against each other. Doesn't seem like a fair fight, but you're on. Upset it's cooler in Vegas than here, which is a literal desert. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. This is being timed. What's happening? Brother's going to Syracuse again next month, and he was like, I'm not looking forward to the heat. 30 Celsius every day seems like too much. He's visiting the friends that got married in April. Uh, Mom's going next time you go, you have to take Mango when they get some cash. <laughs> uh, so we gotta swap things and then just match three. Okay. Can we match up and down? Can we rotate? Oh, I made the thing go too fast. This is a lot like. Um, what am I thinking of? There's like a Super Nintendo game that was very much. Did I win? Oh. I did. Okay. Pressing any button doesn't do anything. What do you want from a game? There we go. Oh, we're playing again? Okay. Uh... those up. Oh, I gave him a big block that he can't deal with now. Uh. Oh, hello. I don't have any good options here. I can do that, I guess. Now I can do this. fight. Uh, what do you... I don't understand what you want me to do with that. Okay, do that. That's helpful, I guess. I'm gonna lose this time around. Yep, that's okay. This game, remember seeing this at a showcase? Nice. Uh, run it back? Okay. God. Okay. He's popping off. Getting wrecked. Okay. 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 Got a combo there. Nice. OK. 
Okay, we won that one. Time for a winner take all fifth match. Okay, I need to get off to a good start. Is that one? I don't know which one of us lost there. <laughs> Wait, those spirits. They never appeared like this before. I should look into it a little more since I'm in town today. Are you heading over to Moe's? She's been a little upset since her breakup. Seeing you would cheer up. Oh yeah, I definitely will. Good luck with your design. Do you bid farewell and you exit Leanne's parlor? Frogo in tow. Okay, I understand. So we could go to Moe's house. The tutorial wants us to go home first. Uh, but I think, how do I? I think we've got the gist of it. Spirit swap, low five beats to match three two. The music was good. I didn't comment on it while I was playing, but the, the low fi was quite enjoyable. Also, the characters all seem really cool. Um. That was fun. J to quit the desktop? Why J? That's a strange default key binding, but whatever. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Next up. Next up, next up, next up. Who's next? 41, number 41, five, 10. Puyo Puyo? Oh, Puyo Puyo is like that too. That's not the one I was thinking of. What was the one I was thinking of? It came to mind because I was playing it just the other day on um on the Switch Online uh Super Nintendo app. That's a little loud. Tells a demo you can play only the initial part of the game with limitations and some features. Yes, I understand that. What about settings? Is settings one of the limitations? The dots. Coming into focus. Hey, Tetris, welcome in. So you're playing keyboard only probs using JKIL, etc. 
Yeah, I suppose. I've never actually heard of JKIL, to be honest. It's the same as WASD, it's just slid over there. So I suppose it would work, but I've never heard of a game using that configuration. I hope you're doing well. Uh, ben, where am I? Are there settings? Can I still not access the settings? Because this is still hitting louder than I would like it to on my my volume bar. But that's okay. I I was in a car accident. I wonder how long it's been. I should call a nurse. So you ever played a couple that escape you, maybe fighting games? Oh, yeah, maybe fighting games. No one's answering. What's going on? Still nothing. Ugh. I feel dizzy. I have to get someone. I guess I'll have to go myself. Can I have control yet? Thank you. Flowers of the photo on the dresser? Look at the flowers. Hey, they're dead. Sure, they could at least put them in the trash. Look at the photo. It's a photo of my wife and daughter. It's been seven years since the divorce. My pal Gordon must have brought it over from my place. Do nothing. It's an ECG. It's not measuring anything since I took everything off when I got up. I hope they won't get mad at me for it. What else was they do? No one came when I pressed the nurse call button. I'd say I was in the right. Ah, on the floor, seriously? Policy badge. I need to find out who's responsible for treating my badge like this. Treating your badge like this? Do not open. Is this just The Walking Dead? Our character with a badge was in a car accident and wakes up in the hospital and nobody's around and I see a door with bloody do not open written on it. I feel like this is directly pulled from The Walking Dead. <laughs> it's a digital calendar. April 20th, 1978. Wait, April 20th? It's been 28 days since my accident? But it's in the past, I guess, because we're in the 70s. Here's my stuff. Gordon must have brought it all for me. There's spare clothes, too. Wow, is Gordon your partner? And now you're going to find him, and it turns out that he's been trying to fill in the father role for you and have a relationship with your wife because you've been, they presumed you were dead? Is this all exactly The Walking Dead? <laughs> that feels a little better. This seems a little bit sus. A smidge, yeah. What happened here? Where is everyone? Where's the nurse's station? The first floor? Okay, this... Here, we're backed off. We have a menu, so we've got Ben. Ben awakes in the hospital. As no one came, we press the call button. He goes to find help himself. Yeah, it's okay. And now we get down here and we see something quite alarming. Do not open. Hmm, I can hear something. Better open it. Is that groaning? Hey, is someone in there? No one respects the sanctity of the blood message anymore. Me personally, if I see anything written in blood anywhere, I'm probably going to listen to it or leave. One of the two. <laughs> Depends what it tells me, I guess. I mean, if, it's, if it said, like, make a sacrifice or something, I might not listen to it in that situation. But generally speaking, if it says don't open, I'm not going to open it. <laughs> what the... A 
blackout? Is that typical white person nonsense? Go in the other direction, personally. <laughs> I can still kind of see thanks to the emergency lights. What in the world happened here? Either way, I need to find a nurse or doctor. Unlikely, but we can look. God, the elevator's not working. Hey, there's a map of the hospital. This is the fourth floor. Nurse's station, nurse's station, the second floor. Emergency stairs that way. Stairs won't be easy in my condition. What did I do to deserve this? Oh, I'm sure there's a reason. Also, our character's not making any note of it, but there's like there's blood and rats everywhere. Like this hospital is clearly in disrepair. But we're still like, let's just go find the nurses station. <laughs> oh, should I have checked that door? Oh, it's not a door. There's just a light. Maybe a window. Okay. Walking Dead of the 80s. Yeah. Uh, it's blocked shut. Well, that's good. Just like that, we're down to the second floor. Something over there. Canned fruit. Things are going from weird to weirder. I should take this. It could come of use. I just can find out locations such as cabins that display exclamation mark or question mark. Be sure to thoroughly search the area as you traverse. Oh. Oh, just a rat. That was a loud rat. It was making quite a sound. And a big one at that. Poor thing. What did they test on you, huh? Yeah, I'm actually talking to a rat to calm myself down. Stench, rotting flesh? Concerning. So many body bags? Was there a terrorist attack or something? It's a lot of body bags. Just what happened while I was out. There it is, the nurse's station. Yeah, there's, there's nobody here. <laughs> Who would have expected? No one's here either? No way. Could be someone in the back. There's not going to be anybody back here. There's not anybody alive. Nurse's diary. All dream walking or something or other. I'm sure that's some lovely lore. We're not going to read it right now. This looks like doctor's notes. Early symptoms include zoning out as the infection worsens, patients begin to attack and bite non-infected humans. As the infection spreads via biting, the disease has been suitably named zoning out madness bite infectious erosion. <laughs> infection spreads through biting? Hmm? There's some kind of drug included here. What is it? Serum. Serum is a crucial item that restores HP. Once obtained, it can be used in the menu. Cool. Looks important. Blend rats over and no one made in the nurse's station. I want to talk to the manager ASAP as possible. <laughs> says, what in the world happened while I was out cold? What was that? Is someone there? Nobody's there and we're about to die. Literally spelled zombie. The, oh, the, the name for the, the infection. <laughs> the body bag fell over? Is it because there's something alive inside? What in tarnation? <laughs> Are they alive in there? Could they be infected? What the? They're all alive? This is not the time to stay here. We should be. Yep. 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 No, keep keep moving. What in the world's going on here? Is anyone around to tell me? 
Are they all infected? Would they attack me if they're not in body bags? This is all nuts. I gotta get out of here. I'd feel a little safer if I had a gun. Is there anything around I could use as a weapon? Been in hospital with blood and rats. Don't yell at the nurse. <laughs> or don't yell the noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is this going to have a gun? No, that's more serum. Looks like a diary written by a kid. Everyone from a room got trapped on the fourth floor. Everyone's hurt. I preferred it in my room. But it doesn't hurt at all, so I hope I can go home soon. Oh, poor kid. That's really sad. find a weapon somewhere maybe hmm that'll do a fire axe or something here we go let's borrow this been equipped a fire axe it's not a gun but it's better than nothing something makes you feel more at ease poster of the president. He has the support of people due to his backing of space programs. That's a weird piece of world building. Saturn project to land on the moon. Made the whole town go wild. Are the zombies from space? <laughs> There's probably stuff to grab down there, but I just want to get to... It said something about there's battles. I'd, I'd like to at least see the like the combat and stuff before we move on to the next demo. This intersection has, has been cool. It's been enjoyable, but it's been a little lengthy before getting into like gameplay. Gotta be kidding me. This street too. Here we go. This is gonna be our first fight, our tutorial fight. Someone over there. What a relief. It's not a. It's not a real someone. Hey, you there. Um. I woke up in the hospital earlier and I found the town like this. I have no idea what's... What's the matter? Are you hurt? <sighs> what the? It's not a person? So do we got it. Ooh, okay. A little turn-based combat. Range attacks, attack with an equipped ranged weapon. You can toggle between the two ranged weapon slots. Melee attack, attack with an equipped melee weapon. Knocks enemies back, but also damages the attacker. Oh. Uses the character's unique skill. Use serum. Okay. Melee attacks can only be carried at close distance. However, you not obtained a ranged weapon. Unique skills can be used in these situations. Skills are actions with varying effects that you can each character. Bends is stone, which can be used on any minion regardless of distance. This is a turn-based RPG type game. Uh, so wait, what? Stone? Targets any power? No, I can that. Oh, because I'm not close enough, I guess, to use my fire axe. And there's a close distance at the end of each turn in an attempt to attack at close range. Note that some enemies have ways of attacking from afar. The enemies still far... <sighs> still too far away and you cannot melee attack yet. These skills have no limit. Attacking with stone. Okay. Straightforward enough so far. The enemy is now close enough that it could unleash a dangerous melee attack. Melee weapons come with a knockback effect, so knock the enemy back with a melee attack. It's huge compared to my character. Okay, but the melee attack does damage to us. You successfully knock the enemy back, however you also took some damage from the enemy's backlash in doing so. If a melee attack doesn't defeat an enemy, they will do damage to you in return. Be careful that this does not knock you out. HP can be restored using an item called Serum. Using Serum does not end your turn, and it can be used as many times as necessary. Keep in mind that HP is not restored after battle, so be wary of it falling too low. And this stone should probably finish it off. Yeah. 25 XP. Oh yeah. Victories in battle earn XP, and it's a drop animation on occasion. Man, am I glad I found a weapon. And most of that you just did with the stone, but the X was helpful, I guess. 
Oh, excuse me. Oh, lots more zombies. The commotion must have attracted more. Seem to be fewer over there. Yeah. Gotta move on. Dashing. Right bumper allows you to dash. Dashing can consume stamina. Stamina is displayed and engage above the character and recovers automatically. Oh, okay. So I actually have to like run from stuff here. What's the name of this game? I'm totally putting it on your wish list. This game is called Raging Bites. Bites is spelt like the computer. Uh way like that okay do I have to dash or can I just chill and explore and grab stuff got some serum we also have a score which is interesting we also have a in our menu there's an ongoing timer so I don't know if it's like turn based RPG that also has like level scores and stuff I don't know Now we're in here. Another enemy. It's a gun shop. I'm saved. Ah, did they hear me? Doesn't seem like it. Add to the wish list, may I actually look at this when it comes out. Nice, that's awesome. It's pretty cool so far. Like I'm I'm into it. I guess they can't see me because it's so dim in here. Could really do with a gun. I mean there's lots on the walls, I don't know. Try to take a look around without being noticed. Can you contact the zombie in the world indicates battle? Most zombies have an exclamation mark above their heads when they notice chase after player. Zombie in the world sometimes includes multiple zombies. Good guns, but they're of no use. Why is that exactly? Please just seem better days. Handgun bullets. Must have been looting all the chaos. Okay. Seems to be the only usable one. Coretta 73 obtained. Just take some bullets with me. It's all if I run out, I gotta use them carefully. Okay, cool. This has been fun. Let us move on. To the next demo. That was cool though. The music's pretty dope too, now that it's not like way too loud. Next up, what do we got? Who's who are we playing now? 38, 
Primitive Society Simulator. We're loading some models. Load some tabs. We gotta load all sorts of stuff. Loading terrain. Loading building textures. You can do it. Come on. I believe in you. Loading <laughs> UI. <laughs> It's a lot of loading. Couldn't you have loaded the main menu first and allowed me to do stuff in it? Maybe not. Ah, we're in. If you're down where you can experience the content of the first five years, okay. Ooh, okay, there's a lot of stuff just available off the hop here. Uh, volume. If I. I'm gonna drop you to like 50 so I can turn you back up in OBS a little bit. Uh, okay, we'll figure out. Speed up, slow down time, that's fine. Pan up, confirm, whatever. But change difficulty, peaceful. Okay, so this is still an early enough version that like we're seeing, uh, rather than like having written tooltips, we just see the, the actual code changes. Oh my god, that's so loud. Why? I just got you to where I... Okay. Better, maybe. Okay. Um... I mean, sure, but easy's fine. We just want to see what's going on here. Oh, I get to customize my people and give them random stats and stuff. This is feeling almost rimworldy a little bit. Uh, that's fine. Let's see what happens.
I know you already loaded everything, so what are we what are we waiting for? <laughs> Hillside was once called home. The hillside we once called home was swallowed by a sudden blizzard. Everything perished. Compelled by our fate, we set out on a long journey to find a new home. Rivers flowed towards the sun and the land stretched out to touch the sky. As far as I could see, the wilderness broadened before us. In the end, we found our safe place, a land rich with life. We will continue to accept nature's blessings, prosper, and thrive. This looks very rimworldy. Okay, what's what's our map? Was, oh my god, look at all these chicken and all these sheep. So many animals. Chickens, sheep, lots of chickens, lots of sheep. I kind of want to make my base on these islands. So what did I start with? Some food, some a bit of supplies. If I wanted to build something. Close clothes stand. Ah, wardrobe, post seat, structure. Big shed, small shed. Large area than a small shed, which prevents the building from loss or really by rain. Prevents the building from I think it means prevents things inside the building from losing durability. It doesn't tell me how much it costs. Oh there, big grass shed. I have some grass, I have some sticks, and I have some wood. If I just make a big grass shed over top of my stuff here, is that effective? We're going to hope so. Make grass beds. Do I need to make another big shed for everybody to sleep in? This can be the storage place, and we could also make one beside it to sleep in, maybe? If I place a table, I automatically cut down that tree, like in RimWorld. Uh, sign work? Oh, nobody's doing anything yet. Okay, well, what's everybody best at, I guess? Actually, we don't need to get into that, because let's just ore totem. We can, oh, we can seed some stuff. Wait, seed table. Oh, yes. Forging knowledge is a certain level. People learn how to farm. OK, that's cool. Build order. Stuff for storage. Crafting table. Corral. Chicken pen. Culture. Host seat. Ceremonial mat. Stone tablet story point. Interesting. Pyre, burn the corpses of your enemies here. Tombs, food management. Oh, there's different types of food, vitality food or int food. Anapals, we don't have any animals yet. Mining and hunting. There'll be quests eventually. Okay. So different setting, but this is very RimWorld, very clearly RimWorld inspired, which is a good thing. I love RimWorld a lot. So this seems fun, but this also seems like the kind of thing that I could play for a really long time. So we're going to call this a good find and we're going to move on already. I'll be keeping my eye on that as it approaches full release. My only concern with that is that it might be a little too close to RimWorld. Like, I don't know. I don't know if the setting being prehistoric 
is enough to that like if I was in the mood for that kind of game that it, to make me want to play that over Room World. Although the splash art here has people riding mammoths and stuff. So if you can do that, then that, that would be enough to make me want to play it, probably. <laughs> mammoths are dope. Next up, number 53, right near the end here. Oh, this one. Okay, cool. Oh, no, my controller timed out while I wasn't looking. I need to pay better attention. Keep it active so that it doesn't have to be resynced every time. Because I think this game is going to want a controller. I'm not positive, but. Quick play, right? Yeah, okay. It's, it's trying. It's figuring itself out. Thank you for playing Wizard with a Gun. Please note the game is still in progress and content is not final. This game collects crash and exception data using Unity Gaming Services. New, no personal identifying information is collected. Uh, why can't I navigate? Does this not like controllers? We'll see when we get in there. Play game. New game. First time playing with Shark Man, you play the tutorial, It'll help you learn the basics, and introduce you to the world and the characters. Uh, we'll try it. Oh, okay. It's just showing me tooltips for the controller. Demo build, not representative final product. Listen, and I'll tell you a tale. There they stood, six alone. The hunter, the baker, and the wild swan soul. The young sheep rising and a weaver. I'm liking this little intro song. Oh, it got loud while I wasn't expecting it to. Why would a wizard need a gun to shoot their magic? presentation so far that was a fun little animated cutscene ah customized wizard okay but so again the controller it doesn't work for this so the controller is not useful in the menus at the moment but oh look at all these hats oh it's clearly the top hat amulet uh Oh yeah, the, the fancy thing. And the suit. Some fun things. Gloves, black gloves, boots, 
I mean, that seems to match better actually with what we're wearing. Uh, backpacks. Currently got that. We could also, oh. What's a sleek one? Eye shape. Our current eyes are hearts. Oh, that's kind of fun. We're gonna go with that one. Eye color. Ooh. You do have orange, thank you. Okay, so now the controller is working. We could craft something. We need wood to make our gun. Wizard without a gun, find your way to the tower. You would want a gun if you were a wizard? <laughs> Hello, wizard. Cryptomancer. Oh good, you are still alive. You aren't the first pick, aren't my first pick, but my first pick is already dead. It's not ideal, I wouldn't ask you to do this if I had another choice. There's not much time left before the world ends. You have to get into the tower to roll back time to before chaos started re wrecking things. It's a doorway not too far from here, just follow the path. Okay, but when do I gather wood and make myself a gun? Ah. Right trigger is punch. Aha. Ah, tangy leaf. It's a little hard to target things. Sure, they have not strong to. Oh. Okay, we're learning to dodge. Can I trick this thing into destroying stuff for me? Pull up these rocks so I have stone. too long doing that. <laughs> Punching this stump until I get some wood. I don't think this is the intended way to be playing this right now, but that's okay. They didn't want me to punch this stump, they wouldn't have made it something I could destroy with fists. Plus two wood, plus two wood, is that? There was a menu somewhere. Do it. How do I open it? That's how we open it. Crafting. One more wood and I can craft a wooden gun. Will this give me a wood? A small little tree. Yes. Crafted one wooden gun. Aha, here we go. This switches me back to a fist. Oh, I've got okay. I've got a bar the whole way along the bottom there. Gotcha. A 
Oh, wizard. She's dead, wizard. There's no body or bounty left for you to collect now. All the doors are closed again across the entire tower. She opened them all once. Perhaps you can too, but you'll need arcana. Okay, this is just magical energy, malignant and mindless. You'll need to fight it to gather some arcana. To fight it, you'll need, uh, what does she call it? Oh, yes, a gun. Now that you have a gun, you can gather arcana to unlock the doorway. It will take you to a safe place. Chaos monsters will drop arcana when they die. Okay. Oh, there's just lots of wood lying around here that I could have used to craft it because... Where do I find a chaos monster? Is this one? No, that looks like a... The last bird. Everything comes to an end, kid. We've got the best seats for watching the show. That old ghost tell you the fate of the worlds in your hands? I've heard her say that one before. It's a heavy burden to put on anyone. Don't stress too much, kid. If you fail, no one will be around to blame you. Good luck with everything. Does that supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> if you fail, no one will be around to blame you? It's concerning. Doorway use. Don't have enough for Kana, okay. Be careful, beings of pure chaos are coming through the rifts up ahead. Feed them to obtain Arcana and open the doorway. Yeah, that's that's why I'm over here. We just spoke. You don't we don't need to, to chat. destroy these though and get as much wood as I can. No, I'm not. I'm, this is why it takes me just so long to play demos is because I play them as if I'm going to be continuing the game and so like I play it completionist style and try to farm resources. What I need to do is just push through the content that's, that's available. start. What do you want? Guess there's endless force, but you stood strong against it. Return to the door to open the tower. Okay. I don't need to go this way anymore? You're sure? You're positive? I'm trusting you, ghost. Okay. Complete. Made it to the tower, you have a moment to relax. Doors been destroyed, you must roll back time before starting your expedition. What does that mean? Oh, okay, I'm in the tower. I understand. Soul tether. Oh, like a respawn point, probably? What's that over there? Can I get to that? I probably need a way to jump or hop gaps to get to that, but I want it. That too. Learn how to learn. First edition is an ancient Makana tome capable of learning about the world around it. You can use it to scan objects to find more about them. While holding the first edition, you will see an indicator above objects you can scan. You can upgrade the first edition, allowing it to scan more objects. Oh, excuse me. Scanning some objects and creatures provides recipes for crafting. The wheel, roll back time. Okay, but what if I were to scan you? Okay. What if I were to scan you? Oh, things I need to repair and Metal scrap manuscript, okay. The manuscript right here. Is 
a metal scrap right here? Is that what I'm saying? Uh... No, that's something different. Does this take all... Oh, this... Like, crafts things or does something? Still need the metal scrap, okay. Wheel. Turn all the gears to roll back time, okay. Carry more than one gear at once. Can. Oh, I might as well get this manuscript poem over here. Deposit Arcana? On a bank, oh, I see. If Hollow Knight taught me anything, it's never put your money in the bank. <sighs> Currents' wheels, a god machine that rolls back time. Turn engine gears to add to the wheel and rebuild more of the world. Every gear you add allows you to roll time back further and discover more of the shatter. Okay. Reset and rebuild the world by rolling back time. Okay, let's do it. back over that door. Go back time before the end of the world. Maybe Hilda's alive again. What? Get a new expedition. Don't excuse you drop all your items. Okay, so here's like where the rogue like element comes in, running expeditions and stuff. I understand. Uh, this is cool, but I am fading quickly, as you can probably tell, with all the lawn, lawning, with all the yawning, and also just my general energy has disappeared. This is good though, we got, saw some, some fun games tonight, I planned to go for a little bit longer than this, but we got through a good chunk of the list, which I'm happy about. This one seems really cool. Um... I'm definitely going to be revisiting this to, uh, to play it a little bit more. Because this seems very much up my alley. Uh, there, there, was, there were a few good ones tonight, though. I've still got lots of demos, so that's, as usual, what we're going to be doing for the rest of the week. And probably the rest of next week. <laughs> I usually stretch Next Fest into several weeks of, of demo streaming, if I can. Uh, and yeah, other than that, thank you all for hanging out. What's, yes, today's Wednesday. At the moment, Snackies and I are planning to be doing some co-op demos on their stream tomorrow. During, around the time that we would normally fire up some Pacha. This week, we're just going to be checking out some co-op demos. At least that's the plan. Uh, obviously, it depends, you know, what's going on and how we're both feeling and all that as usual. But, uh. But yeah, we're hoping to have that happen tomorrow if anyone's interested in joining us for that. And yeah, thank you all so much for hanging. I hope you all have a good evening. Uh, take care of yourselves, stay hydrated, get good rest. And I hope to see you again. Okay, take care. Have a great rest of your night. 
and goodbye. Oh, love, you're back. Oh, I'm sorry. I can I can keep going if you if if you need me to push through until you get off work. I can I can I can keep stream running if you want something to listen to. I'm not I'm not too tired to do anything. No, it's all good. Okay, I love you. I'll talk to you. Can be entertained by the teens you just managed to get back. Okay, well, I'll, t I'll talk to you when you get home. Then I love you. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna make everyone sit through me redoing my my outro spiel again. So, uh, good night, goodbye, love you all. Oh, got back from climbing at a bad time. Hope donors are good. I'll have to ask what your fave was later. Uh, what could I say? Is there anything I can quickly recommend before I wrap here? What did I play tonight? Wizard with a gun seemed pretty cool. That's the one I was doing right there at the uh at the end, but I just I was a little too tired to keep going with it. Which is why we're ending stream a little bit earlier than usual. Yeah, we're doing we're doing co-op demos on Snacky Stream tomorrow. Uh Internet's still out. Oh well, we'll be doing demos if Snackies has internet. Started slow but got better. Mm, it seems cool. What was the last one? It was called Wizard with a Gun. Wizard with a Gun. Uh, now Zaz here. And you're here. All right, we'll go for a bit longer. If people are coming in and, and want a place to hang, I can provide that. Let me Let me random up another demo here. We'll do at least one more and we'll see how I'm feeling. Number one. Wow. Very first one on the list, eh? Let's try it out. If you gotta go, don't push yourself. I'm doing okay. I'm just I'm just a little tired. But I'll be alright. Uh, need me up soon. Just got to clear your schedule. Some <laughs> nice. I'm not in the same time zone as anyone. Well, that's not true. There are other people in this time zone. I'm not the only person, but <laughs> I don't know anyone in my online spaces who's in this time zone. Soon, yes. Altarium Shift. I like the intro music. Very classic, uh, sort of like JRPG esque menu screen. Like the blue is very much, uh, Thinking about going to the women's soccer match Saturday? Nice. Convince someone from work to go with you? That's awesome. Yeah, that, that'll be a lot of fun. I'd love to go to a, a soccer match. Uh, move, interact, cancel, walk, menu, map. Standard. Ethereal voice. The time has come to choose. But how do I know which is right? That wasn't particularly ethereal. 
Though I feel like by definition, ethereal is pretty hard to voice act because it's not supposed to be something that a normal person could sound like. Pyra. Or Pyra? A fire leader with strength of will and expert with spears. Weapon, spear, element, fire. Wait, do the characters have themes that we're getting in the character select screen? That's really cool. That's a nice touch. Alice. Passionate youth with an expert skill in archery. Bow and wind. Oh, is it just the two that I can choose from right now? Okay. Uh, we're going to go with the fire spear. Uh... Mango reminded you about Hans. You're fixing that since streamlabs can be accessed anywhere. Nice. Wait, what's wrong with Hans? Also, your new coworker and you were watching stream together earlier, and it was great. Oh, that's fun. I'm glad you're getting along with them. Ah, Pyra, your form continues to improve every day. Hans doesn't exist with the new alerts. Oh. Yeah, well, that's not good. We'd want Hans, I think. Hans is an indispensable part of the team. Uh, I think you take a break for now. Do me a favor and check on Sage and Alice. Why wasn't Sage in the character select screen? Oh, okay. Oh, I love the the very bouncy sprite run. Very, like, um, like Secret of Mana-esque. Some orange flowers, nothing important. Empty. The flowers stink, rude. Red flowers, nothing important. It's a nice warm fireplace. It's a potted tree. He's going to tell me, your fighting skills are sharp. Make sure to refresh yourself for the written test. Also, please check in with Alice and Sage to see how they do. What do you need help with? Uh, where's Alice? Go by the lookout and seems a bit pensive, but tomorrow it might be good to check on him. No. Oh, empty ink jars. No interesting books in this shelf. Are there interesting books on any of them? Oh, here we go. Surviving Altaria. Snakes and spiders that inhabit the area around Summiton are weak against fire, so be ready. Campsites. Book is a work in progress. Would you like to read The Origin of Altarium Essence? The Elements of Altarium Essence? Okay, lots of interesting books and lore. We're not going to spend all our time checking the demo. Some of the Dark Elves, but they're mysterious and kept to themselves in the rural forests. Port of the Force began laying waste. Oh no. Rude. Okay. Oh wait, there's another floor? How big is this place? Julian's office door, it's locked. <gasps> A chest. Gather all your valuables, receive one potion, 50 gold. Nice. Okay, so I live here. Do Alice and Sage also live here? Can I gather their stuff? An empty foot chest. An empty bed. An old journal from a past student. Nothing interesting here. Lots of tooltips. They kept there, or they like put lots of tooltips around the place. One potion was just the start of Pokemon Blue. What a mess. How can Alice even find anything in here? Can I take Alice's stuff? Messy foot chest full of junk. Oh. Doesn't even have a potion, just full of junk. No answer. Ugh, Pyra, I said go away. Fine, this better be important. Let me guess, the great Dolian told you to wake me up? Yes, or I make my own decisions. Yes. Figures. You've always been his errand runner. He asked me to check on you. What a dick. <laughs> now there's a comfy bed waiting for my company. Maybe go bug Alice so I can finish my beauty rest, okay? Well, whatever. I tried. Sage is a jerk. It's fine. Um, oh. We can 
go out this way. There once was a young lady named Bright, whose speed was much faster than light. She set it one day in a relative way, and returned on the previous night. Ah, it's a relativity joke. I get it. That's actually pretty, pretty dope, though. Kids are getting loud and aren't listening to you. Oh no. When everyone was like, y'all, I'm sick, and they were like, oh no, Lauren, you shouldn't tell us you're still sick while you're here because I need money. Please dial it down a bit. <laughs> because I need to get paid. Mayor, why hello there, Pyra. I hope you're enjoying this lovely day. Teaching them life lessons while they're young. <laughs> I'm here because we live in a place where you have to work even when you're sick. Having so much fun though, just gaming. Oh, I'm good. I'm glad they're enjoying themselves. Can I not speak to you? I can't. I can't speak to you. Have you seen my chickens? They've escaped again and are all over town. There should be four around here somewhere. Please catch them and bring them back. Make sure to walk. They startle easily. Oh, we gotta chase down the chickens, chat. Wait, how do I walk? Do I just shuffle? I don't know how to walk up to something. Oh, we scared that chicken. Can I just shuffle up to you, chicken? No. Is there... That brings open our menu. That's running. That's running. That's still running. Okay. Config. Auto run off. Chicken. Gotcha. Get in there. Oh good, it's Mr. Beaky Boo. <laughs> Should be three more chickens around here somewhere. Okay. Oh, here's Atlas. Oh, hey, Pyro, what's up? Shouldn't you be practicing? Are you ready for the test? I just want to check on you. Ah, thanks. I'm just thinking about thinking through tomorrow. I'll be fine. I'm gonna stay here for a while and enjoy the scenery. Okay, I gotta find these chickens. So you do you. Uh, oh wait, what's happening? Oh, the merch. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, brain went, are you going to throw that chicken into the well? <laughs> I guess I can investigate this person's house. Who are you? Things are more lonely without my dear old husband. Also, you can't keep intruders out. Oh, it's locked in your mind. They're all laughing and suddenly just quiet down, all like, oh no, we gotta be quiet. Lauren's not doing okay. Ah, the good old days when everybody would. When, like, with a group of friends and everyone would be getting a little loud, and then somebody realizes and you all shush each other, and you're being even louder while shushing than you were before. There you go, patooning your wiggle bottom. <laughs> okay, th thank you for not even really encouraging me, but thank you, people, for coming in and influencing me to do another game because this is delightful. Petunia Wigglebottom. Two around here somewhere. It's like they're just tiny adults trying to make their way in the world. Right? There's a lot of doors we want to go into, but I just gotta find more chickens before we explore other places. Oh, wait, I can pick up stuff here? So I turned off auto run. Is there a way I can? 
Oh, I can hold this to run. Okay, good. Use that to help us search for the chickens. This probably goes out of town. Yeah, that feels like it goes out of, out of town. They're not in somebody's house, are they? Gotcha. Who are you? Chicken lady giving their chickens the best names, indeed. Get in there. Ah, you found Jeremy. <laughs> Mr. Beaky Boo, Petunia Wigglebottom, and Jeremy. <laughs> One more around here somewhere. Uh, I feel like I've been everywhere. Have I not? Oh, there's one right there. Okay, what are our bets? Is Jeremy the one outlier and this one has a name similar to the first two? Or do we think this one... What do we think this is going to be? Ah! Um... Right. It's Ugly Facington? Oh, that's mean. So we're glad you found it for me. Never mind, I don't like Chicken Lady anymore. That's awful. All my chickens, I think. Thank you so much. Here's your reward. One full potion. Well, I appreciate the full potion, but you should be nicer to your chickens. <laughs> that side quest went from delightful to, like, killing my mood <laughs> all in one fell swoop. I hope she gets pecked. Really, though. <laughs> Not in the good way. Catch the chickens. Wait, I did that. Oh, there's more quests here? More side quests? What do we got? Travel advisory. Missing cat reward. Missing collectibles. Placeholder. 100 gold. My dear cat Felthay has gone missing. Last seen wandering outside of town near the plains. Franz the fluffy, flurfykins, puff puff, and scratchy face. Doesn't like strangers, be gentle. Bring her to my house, the small red roof near the entrance of town. Okay. All town members be advised there has been an increase in wild animal activity in the area. Traveling groups are under guard. All members of the school must get written permission from Dolian to travel beyond the Summerton Bridge. Okay. Placeholder quest. The guards post around Summerton Plains can use a break go check in with them to attend to their needs. I'm an avid collector of things found in the world to so bring them to me at the item shop. Fangs, animal pelts, and unique items all interest me. Okay. wonder if the demo will have feedback. I feel like just naming that one Jeremy Perfect and giving the other one a silly cute name. Oh, and, and not not, yes, yeah, not commenting on whether it's like an attractive or ugly chicken and just being like, this one's Jeremy. <laughs> That's a much better idea. Uh, okay, I mean, we we talked to the person we, got to, we had to talk to. We did a side quest. I'd like to at least get into some combat before we move on from this demo. We need help with? What am I supposed to be doing other than talking to these people? I written test. Tomorrow, we should consider some studying time. Now, nah, we'll just go to... Do we go to bed, I guess? Or give him, like, Chuck Norris or something? I talked to the people I need to talk to. Can I just progress the day? Tomorrow's a big test. Are you ready? Yes. I hit the wrong button. Yes. I ran out of tea a long time ago. Why am I still trying to drink out of that cup? Where's my water? Here it is. So let's try the test. What will you do? Go to the dojo. Wake Sage. Wake Atlas. We'll wake Atlas. We're not going to bother with Sage. Ah, uh, who is it? It's Pyra. Time for the test. Come on, Alice. We need to go. Who do you think? Who do you think? Oh, right. Is everything okay? Not for you if you don't hurry. 
wait for me. Uh, Pyra? Should we wake Sage? Sage is an adult. <laughs> Well, well, someone finally learned it. Gonna wait for me? Uh, nope. Yeah, whatever, hurry. Nope. <laughs> uh, stay silent. Power, your lack of announcement is telling. Telling of what? Did you finally learned your lesson around about the Aaron Sage, who should be here in three, two, one. <laughs> this is really good so far. Like these characters have a lot of personality. Excellent. Sage, you have lived up to the low bar you've set. <laughs> Luckily we have confidence in Pyro and Atlas. Okay, well don't be I mean you're not wrong, but Students, this may well be one of the most important tests in your life. Each of you will test your skill against me. I will not go e be easy on any of you. Now, who will go first? Stay silent or I'm ready, sir. I'm ready, sir. As expected. Now prepare yourself for the most difficult fight of your life. <gasps> we spin the camera out and then we enter... It's time to prove yourself worthy of being an elite adventurer. I'm trying two new demos. <laughs> you weren't, hadn't tried all the ones you wanted after all. There's a lot of stuff there, so I mean, it's understandable. Uh, remember your unique skills and use them to your advantage? Let's begin. Okay. Okay, so we've got a turn bar at the top, so it's not like an active time turn-based battle or anything. Uh, we can guard. What are our skills? Triple strike. Costs 5 AE, 3 strike, succession, or fire slash. Deals fire damage and physical damage to a single enemy. We have 48 AE. We could just... Now we're going to go hard from the start. Get him with the fire slash. Blinds attack. Does 16 damage. We don't seem to have anything that heals us, do we? We've got those potions, but... Okay, let's try the triple strike. Four, okay. Ow. That hurt. Am I about to lose? Your guard, maybe? What was this one called? This is called... What is this called? Uh, Altarium Shift. Is what it's called. Alright, have to go. Thanks for hanging. Oh, you too, McDee. Thank you for hanging out with us. One didn't really give a good chance. The other popped up out of nowhere. I hope some of those ones that don't have demos have demos by the end of the week. I know we've mentioned that several times, but it's pretty great, though. I'm quite enjoying it so far. Uh, I think he's going to one-shot me if I don't guard or use an item. Surveying the battlefield? Should I guard? Just survey. I'm still just surveying the situation. Fine, right, fire slash. Wasn't too bad. Fire slash again. Okay, we're doing okay. Our A is getting real low, but. Wishlisted this one. This seems right up your alley and love the style. I, I'm really, yeah, this is fantastic. Uh, we're basically out of a. Ah, uh, we can afford a triple strike one more time. Ow, okay. All we have left are basic attacks. Critical blow, ow. Well, do you know, game, this is just a demo, so I'm not worried at all to burn all of my items. We're full potioning on this battle. Uh, 
Ow. Oh, okay, well that did quad nine, so I guess I have to lose to that. They are excited because you gave them all suckers for heading out and they were like, feel better, don't come in tomorrow, and you don't have the heart to tell them you don't work on Thursdays, so you're just going to tell them you listen to them. <laughs> Pyro, are you okay? I'm fine. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> Collect yourself and head up to my office on the third floor. Say you that smirk off your face, you're next. Talk to these two? Wish them luck? Eesh, Pyra. I hope you're okay. Don't worry, I was very hard on you. Oh, I can't say anything to Sage. Fine. Well, that's cheap. Eh, it's pretty classic. You have to administer your test. Come see me to get started. I was told to wait in his office, but whatever. We'll do the written test. Ready for the test? Sure. Here it is. Bring it back to me when you're done, please. Which king ruled during the time of the Dark Elf invasion? I did not pay any attention to the lore books. Uh, clearly it was... Granagul. Known primary elements are earth, fire, water, and wind. What is the fifth element suspected but not confirmed? Oh, uh... Just to read that and remember. Dol Dolion did say you should study for the te before your test tomorrow, so there was a hint to to read that stuff. I think. Uh, all absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, lovely getting to work in there. Yeah, yeah. Studying, I didn't even do that in real life. So, I mean, there's always a darkness. That's usually whatever the main villain of like a JRPG is, right? It's enemies of the darkness element. But darkness is usually also offset by light. If there's just a fifth element, it could be spirit, because I, I would think these two would come in tandem as like five and six. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna get these right anyway. What is the source of all magic in our worlds? Oh, uh, Alterium Essence. What year, do, oh my god, I don't know. It, 1132. Who first learned how to distill the Altarian crystals into Altarian essence? Okay, it wasn't General Dolion. The Mage's Order of the Alchemists? The Alchemists. Thank you. Do I get to know how I did? Now that your test is done, you can... Okay. Just go to the office. How does that way if you mentioned Chuck Norris? Ah... All that information went out and came the cuter chicken names. <laughs> Didn't even do that IRL. Yeah, me either. Or is this not as much as I should have? Hey, Pyro, I'm sure things will be okay. Could be worse. You could be stuck with the child wonder. What? Sage needs to... Needs to stop. So now you think it's time to relax? Maybe there's a reason for your failure today. Come join me in the office when you're done resting. Your door was locked. I was waiting for you to come let me in. Did you want me to break into your office? Or... Pyra, what happened? Isn't it obvious? I failed. I don't know, sir. Ah. Uh... Pyra, you lost focus. You failed at the one time where success was required. Let's discuss what's next. I still believe in you, Pyra, and your skills afford you a chance to redeem your status. Every road to redemption requires the first step. You will not like what's next, but it's necessary. The only thing talk to me that way is Pom Pom. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, yes, sir. Good, then listen carefully. Pyra, I've treated you as a leader from the start, and I realize you missed an important part of your training, learning to follow. I've asked Mayor Townsend to task you with the most menial errands he can think of. You are to obey and execute those tasks as if they come directly from me. 
I also told Mayor Townsend that he may delegate tasks assignments to anyone he chooses. Same rules apply. Come see me once the mayor is satisfied you know how to follow directions properly. By the way, we should review the results of your test from your testing. For a fight in the JoJo, you lasted to round 12. That's going to be good, right? I used all my potions. Alright, you nearly beat me. Well, you didn't pass the test. I'm still impressed with your performance. One essence potion, one full potion, one winged spear, 500 gold. Okay. I really like that. Because I was, I was thinking I had wasted the potions, but the game is rewarding me for going all in and, and doing as well in that fight as I possibly could. That's really cool. I looked over your test and see you got three correct. Oh, that's not bad. How many questions were there? Five? Six? Three correct is not terrible for guessing. Overall, that's not a bad score. Here's a small reward. One full potion. That's all for now. Good luck on your mission. So if I wanted to go equip myself, how much better is my winged spear? Ooh, two attack better, one extra accuracy. We'll take it. Uh, gotta turn everything off and put stuff up. Talk to you soon. I love you. I love you. See you when you get home. Or, well, talk to you when you get home. Oh, you're welcome. I'm, I'm glad I did. This, this. I'm glad I got to this one tonight. This was a lot of fun. This might be my personal favorite of the evening so far. Lasting to round 12 and getting all those rewards must be the best you can do on that fight because I lost when he hit me with the quad 9 like insta kill skill. So I did as well as I possibly could on that and then I did okay on the, the written test which is not bad. Uh, but okay. Went a little bit longer but I think we will now call the stream there. Did one extra demo and it was a really good one. Uh, but I am still tired, so... But I'll definitely have my eye on this. This one for sure. How do I exit? That's how I exit. Thank you. Altarium shift. That was good. Uh, but yeah, okay. We won't, we won't bother going all the way through the the spiel from before, other than to remind that uh, hopefully co-op demos tomorrow with Snackies on their channel, and I'll be next be streaming on this channel probably Friday for more demos, and that's all I've got. Take care. Have a good night. Love you all. Uh, goodbye. You're most welcome for stream. Thank you for being here.